Hi, this is the Eileen Hall wrapped journal die cover turned into a laminated journal cover and doing it from all one piece. I started with a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, cut it down to five and a half and the 12 inch length. Then, of course, when you put this in the scoreboard, the scoreboard is about three quarters of an inch longer. But I wasn't worried about that because I wanted to be able to use the patterned, the double sided patterned cardstock to make this. So, this is the only waste that you have left from that half sheet of cardstock, which then leaves you the rest for making the little inside folder piece and then I had some scraps from another paper pack but the colors went with this patterned paper and then a little piece of this if I need it that was from another project but the colors were all cohesive with the patterned paper. Then the other thing I did was I went ahead and because I knew what length I was going to need from my die cut piece, I went ahead and trimmed the laminating pouch so that it just does fit. Now you'll notice when you look at it right now, you're thinking that's sticking out. That's because I added a score line here at the end and fold this edge over and then what that also does is helps reinforce from where I put the elastic for the closure so it just gave a little more stability to that end with just leaving that piece there and having it folded over. The other thing I did was I went back and I reinforced the score lines and when I did this because my front cover measurement, then your score lines for your spine, and the back cover measurement on the die itself are actually different. I go back and I rescore it so these two sections are the same. Because in the cardstock, you either get the faintest definition of where to score or... I just took my ruler and measured it on my die. So this score line here would have been almost to here, and I just moved it over. So each of these got moved over, and then still leaves me plenty for my little wrapped section, because the spine is going to kind of round anyway, and so it still gives you plenty of room to actually do that piece on the, the die. So, added the score line so that I know where they're at. Have this piece ready to, to be glued down for the reinforcement for this end. Then I'm going to come back and show you how I add the pockets to it and make the folder. Mm -hmm. 